Reggie's Corner Variety Gaming. All right, welcome back to part four of this blind let's play of Intravenous on True Difficulty, and we are back in the hideout, and we'll take it from there and move on. So yeah. And I think we're kind of pleased with our setup, so, you know. A little brewski for the road, and then... So, you didn't find the guy in that last spot, but the dealer did cough up the nickname Shopkeeper. The second spot that I ruled out is an abandoned port warehouse. I think the guy you're looking for will be ready, will be really paranoid by now. Most junkies are paranoid anyway. An abandoned port warehouse? Yeah, there are two warehouses in total there. We can safely assume the guy will be paranoid. With that in mind, you should not go in through the front door, so to speak. He will most likely have told his friends of what's up, and they'll be on the lookout for strangers snooping about. Instead, I suggest going in from the water side. No doubt they think you're just some random dude they screwed over in the past, so they won't expect you to be in from the opposite side of the warehouse. How am I going to swim all the way over there? I can get you anything you need, remember? Scuba diving suits included. Anyway, you go in there by midnight and there's no chance they'll see you approaching underwater. The rest is in your hands. What should I do with the diving gear? Dump it in the water. What if it floats and someone ends up finding it? Doesn't matter. For all they cared, must have fallen off of a ship of some very eager underwater explorers and uh, said folks didn't notice that it did it until it was too late. No one will bother doing a DNA shake on it if they find it. Gotcha. The accomplice has been, had been providing me with anything I asked for. It seemed like he had an infinite amount of money at his disposal. The more I thought about it, the more it made sense to me. If I was rich and wanted to exact revenge upon those who hurt me, I wouldn't reveal my identity to a potential partner regardless of how trustworthy they seemed to be. I would have had a lot to lose. Who knows? Maybe the prodigy I didn't trust my identity to would get the thought of robbing me and then just going on a mindless trip across the world with Zen, burning through money like there's no tomorrow. Abandoned Warehouse, November 14th, 20 past midnight. Steve, I'm fairly sure the man you're looking for is here. I checked recent CCTV footage and he definitely was going in this direction. If he wasn't alone, expect a lot of people. Got it. Find and kill your brother's murders. And I've said this before, I have a fairly aggressive style, so I'll probably die quite a bit, and when I do, I'll edit a lot of that away so you don't have to look at all the boring samey samey stuff. But I'll try to keep the story and the best action bits in there. Also, I will try to be fairly aggressive, because I kind of like that playstyle. What the hell? That was super weird. Oh, and as always, there's only three save files in true difficulty. Back. 
All right. That's a dude. Okay, where did that dude go? Some gentlemen coming in. Not exactly sure. He must have gone a long, long way around. Uh. Okay. I mean, it's working out. Okay. I think uh, it's a good place to use the first save. We've killed so many dudes. See a couple of warehouses, two big ones and several smaller ones. My mind is on the big ones. The smaller ones might be worth checking out in case you think you might find something to use. Ah, oh well.
Oh, okay, so he just went the other way. we can hide in the bathroom Do the safe thing. Where did that guy go? No windows. Okay, that's one dude. No windows, which is great. Okay, that's definitely a weapon.
okay we get him Okay, where did I throw my knife? There it is. Let's get that back. Do some reloading. An awful lot of guys patrolling this place. This has to go. Yeah, head further in. There wouldn't be this many guys patrolling for no reason. Well, we killed quite a few of them. We, we have done that. One dude. Two dudes. At least three dudes. Get in here and see if we can. Oh, that's a lot of guns, yeah. Uh, hello? See if we can get in here. Okay, not through here. So we have to go through this building? Where did they come in? some soda quite a few bottles There's one dude in there Are you Johnny Dave look man I'm sorry let me remind you buddy remember when you and three of your guys whacked my boyfriend and I 
Your friend saying, yeah, pretty boy, share some. Ringing the bells? Pretty boy. Oh, fuck, man, no way. God fucking damn, please don't do this. Give me one good fucking reason. Back, man. We were short on cash, man. We needed some dough for another hit. Please don't kill me. Uh, it, it was nothing personal. You shameless cocksucker. It was my brother you killed. Killed? Please, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Don't kill me. Don't do this. And we got the shaman best served cold. God damn it, Charles. S Steve? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm here. How are you feeling? Is everything in order now? I'm alright. But I don't think I'm done. I want the deadbeats dealing with this shit found, and I want them dead. And if I die getting to the bottom of this, so what? What have I got to lose? It's for the greater good. I certainly don't lack self-preservation, but if this is what you're after, I will be happy to help you get there. And it's time to start searching for these lowlifes. Oh, there's actually blood dripping on the floor. Let's um say you overdosed in here in the in this here toilet. Alright, abandoned warehouse results. Playtime 28 minutes 42 seconds, and we killed 53 guys. And we were heard slightly over 99 times, and we had some aggression. Shots fired 99 plus, killed with guns 49. We did use our crusty knives a bit there, which was nice. It's kind of nice when it works. Uh, total enemies 57, so yeah, we killed most of them. And we were once again bloodthirsty, but we didn't die that much. No. Did not. It was done. I finally killed the person responsible for my brother's death. That lowlife son of a bitch got what he deserved. I thought it'd be enough. It wasn't. Killing him made me sick, mad, furious. From that point onward, I didn't care whether I get killed or not. I want to get rid of the seed of these degenerates. I want to strangle every goddamn one of them. Even if it meant eating lead in the slums or some other shit -o. I'll tell you, that was stressful. And you know what's good when you're stressed out and back from a day at the office? Yeah, that's right. Cracking up a cold one and just having a sip. So yeah, I think this is a great place to end off this part of the let's play i hope you had as good of a time as i had and that you might hit those like and subscribe buttons i also hope to see you again in the very next video but for now it is bye bye